Well, who would have thought two years shouting elections are fake wouldn't turn people out to vote for you? It's News O'Clock, I'm Dave Colombo. Ah, the midterms. Big night for politics, huge night for touchscreen manufacturers, and now officially the only place a checkmark after your name means anything. It took him a week to make Truth Social seem sensible. Side note, if like me in your head you read Mastodon and the voice of Zack calling in his Zord, we should be friends. The Red Wave, which sounds like an energy drink for when Monster is too top shelf, did not happen the way conservative pundits spent the last few months seductively moaning it would. The media is calling it a red drip, red drop, red splash. Let's just save time and call it the looking in the sink after you finally start flossing again election. Republicans technically won, but not enough to keep from damaging their image, also known as the Will Smith, with Democrats keeping the Senate, promising two more years of their usual meandering attempts at leadership, Republicans will mistake for oppressive Stalin-grade communism. Which of course means Mitch McConnell will stay the leader of the minority, though he'll always lead the majority of my nightmares. The GOP will probably flip the other chamber, but anyone going home for Thanksgiving is already prepared to spend time with a Republican-led House. So once again, the commentators were wrong, like Chipotle employees who can't fold a burrito, screwing up the main thing they're hired to do. How do I have sour cream on my hands before I open the foil? Underestimating the turnout of young voters. You're surprised Gen Z didn't wait on the phone to talk to pollsters? They don't even have the patience to fully say the word generation. John Fetterman won Pennsylvania, and according to his picture, the UFC Heavyweight Championship, marking the first time I can think a cocky showman named Oz was revealed to be the charlatan all along. It might be awkward the next time you see him at the charcuterie section of your local Wegners or Porblix or Trader Jeffs. Trump-endorsed candidates came up short, and oh my god, they're already telling us his chances in 2024. Look, we need to stop. Why are we letting people who were dead wrong a day before the last election tell us what's going to happen 722 days before the next one? I can't believe I'm going to say this. I might have to get my news from Twitter. See you next time.